Hey, a very good evening to all of you. So there was there's a very uh, interesting opportunity that has come up. I have seen it for the first time in a last couple of years. So uh, BARC, that is Baba Atomic Research Center, has come up with an advertisement for junior research fellowships, and there are almost hundred and five fellowships in the fields of physical sciences, chemical sciences, and life sciences. So that's a huge number, and this is an excellent opportunity for those of you who are basically looking into. uh doing research in the field of nuclear chemistry or related fields and you will also if you are selected you will also uh, you know get to um, enroll in the phd program at the homi baba national institute okay hbni that is in mumbai now let's look into the details uh, what is the application process and uh, you know uh, what is the eligibility criteria because that is the most important you can see over here i will give you the link to the advertisement down in the description box so you can read more about it in case you are interested so in the chemical sciences category you can see these are the fields you can read about them in which you can uh, pursue a phd in the homi baba national institute right so it has you can see it has a variety of wide variety of fields over here um now uh, coming on to the um age limit so the age limit is that um you should be uh, 28 years of age or below uh, and then obviously if you are from any category then there's some relaxation now if we talk about the elig eligibility criteria so you need to have a minimum of 60 this is important so just listen to me very carefully uh, you need to have around 60% in your bsc and 55% in msc that is a minimum requirement okay so 28 years of age or less um 60 marks in aggregate in bsc and 55 marks in msc but along with that you should also have um uh, where where is it? it it was written over here somewhere that basically you would require i will just come back to this particular uh, place yeah so over here you have you need phys physics as a ancillary subject in bsc basically like what do you mean by ancillary subject is like if i am from delhi university uh, so in my bsc we had two semesters of physics so basically a supplementary subject ancillary subject means it should be a supplementary subject so you should have studied physics at the bachelor's level even though your main course might be chemistry but physics there should be a subject of physics in your bachelor's and mathematics uh, and mathematics should be there in class 12th okay so in class 12th you should you should not be from a pcb background you should have mathematics as one of the subjects okay and then in chemistry it could be a general chemistry applied chemistry organic inorganic physical and analytical chemistry so if you have a specialization or even if you don't have a specialization um, all of them are eligible but over here they have clearly mentioned that those who have done msc in polymer chemistry or medicinal chemistry or pharmaceutical chemistry they would basically they would not be uh, eligible for this i am not sure if they, if they meant pharmaceutical chemistry or pharmaceuticals but definitely polymers if you have done msc in polymers then you will not be eligible i think if you're done in polymer chemistry you might still be eligible now uh okay and this is the fourth important criteria the fourth important criteria is that you should have qualified either your uh, csir grf or ugc grf or you should have a valid gate score of 2019 or 20 so that is why i always recommend that you know just qualifying gate also makes you eligible for a lot of uh, positions and this is one of the examples so you can see that if you have if you have cleared lectureship they have clearly mentioned that if you have cleared net that is you have not cleared grf then you are not eligible okay they have clearly mentioned or you have cleared slet also you are not eligible that is state lecture eligibility test so either you should qualify the net fellowship that is a grf basically what they mean or you should have a gate score of uh, 2019 or 20 then you are valid uh, you can successfully apply for this particular uh, fellowships okay now what exactly is the selection procedure so selection procedure is basically first they will shortlist you based on your application okay first your application will be shortlisted and uh, based on your like based on lot of criteria like the percentage of marks you have obtained in bsc msc and then obviously some they might also check the gate score so they might uh, you know um, have a cut off that you know or they might have a qualifying criteria that if they receive a lot of applications then what will be the minimum cut off or uh, for the cons for considering the application so once you have submitted the ap application it will be considered by a selection committee they will set a benchmark and then you will be called for a qualifying examination okay so like they have mentioned over here applications will be scrutinized 
and candidates will be shortlisted for interview based on their academic performance and score obtained in qualifying examination so based on your academic score that is your percentage and your gate score plus uh, the marks obtained in the qualifying examination okay but here they have clearly mentioned that a first screening will be made based on previous academic records of the applicants a further shortlisting of candidates will be made based on the performance in nationwide screening test so basically first they will shortlist you based on your academic records then they will call you for a um, examination that is um, it might be mcq based examination for which they will inform later and uh, after and then they will evaluate you on based on the interview first you have to basically they will screen the applications based on an academic record then they will call you for an exam and then they will have an interview okay and so these are the criteria by which you will be finally able to get this grf fellowship the fellowship is equivalent to your csr grf that means thirty-one thousand as a grf and then after two years you will be promoted to senior research fellowship srf senior research fellow and you will be getting thirty-five thousand. they have mentioned it in the application form i'm not reading that out and uh, plus you will also get an hra if you don't get the accommodation in the uh, hostels okay so they have their own hostels but if you are not able to get the accommodation then obviously you will be paid an hra which is i think around um eight thousand four hundred for srf if i'm not wrong okay some somewhere around 30 percent i think uh, the 30 percent or 25 percent that is the amount of hra but since you'll be living in mumbai it is better that you get in hostel because living outside will be uh, way way more expensive anyway so this is the criteria and uh, so you can fill up the form uh, i think the d last date to apply is 15 january 2021 so you have plenty of time um wish you all the very best if you have any other query just let me know down in the comment section right and i will give you the link to this down in the description box so you can go and apply easily so anyway i hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a big thumbs up and i would request you if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can subscribe to it so that you get more you know more frequent notifications related to the videos based on entrance exams or general research based videos or you know notifications regarding various fellowships and internship opportunities so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video hey guys so i'm a verified educator on an academy and along with that i'm also available on the unacademy plus platform where i'm taking live classes along with other educators so in case you're interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is s-e-t-h-i seti and that will give you 10 percent discount all right and in case you're not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the Unacademy Learning app and search my name over there, that is ACT. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. Alright, now let's begin with the video.